of Bugs. This is Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while I have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good uplift um and a vibe that you truly need it for the day you know go ahead and give a thumbs up and share it'll be greatly appreciated so with that being said hey i hope you're able to you know resonate with the content of the video and um you know sending so much love light to get you through you know uh your your moments you know your days your weeks your months your years whatever you need you know just to get through uh th this thing called life <laughs> so anyways um just so much love towards your way um anybody who's coming in with negative vibration and hidden intent you know whatever you're trying to do hey it's going to go towards you many times fold everything is st prote strongly protected heavily loved and strongly guided uh, the video I'm doing today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, you are not a victim for sharing your story. You are a savage survivor setting the world on fire with your truth. That's true. You know, I've, I've had different people spoken their egos and me saying, oh, you're doing this for attention or you're just needing people to know who you are, what you are, who you're related to, and whatever. And I felt like if this was something that was all about, you know, trying to stay relevant or whatever, you know, I wouldn't have went through it. And it, it's at that point, you I always tell people, you never know how your your tragedy of, of what you have overcome, what, what has taken place in your life that really just shook you to the point where it put you on, on a vibration where you were at a crossroads, where you, you could have let your situation really take you down and um, really created something that was lower than low within yourself. Or you can allow what happened that was lower than low to inspire you to become so much better. You just don't know because it's just like speaking of truth, it, it can leave you very vulnerable. You know, um, going through different things, you know, I, I, I uh, connected with many people. They were like, Rosalind, you know, I'm inspired to do, you know, my own uh, videos, you know, things like you talk about. And, you know, they were like, how do you get through it without having to worry about it? You know, there's things that I went through in my family that, you know, I'm terrified that they might find out that I said. And, you know, the first thing I asked, you know, was it true? Did you, whatever you went through, was it true? Did it really made you look at life differently? Did it put you in a vibration where it was hard for you to love? It was very, you know, you pushed everybody away. It was hard. You had heavy trust issues. It was like, yes, hell yes. And then it's like you're doing it for the greater good. Because it's just like these situations will put you, um, in many many different vibrations of what it makes you feel very vulnerable you know um it's not uh easy to do what we do when you're getting on here and you're you're speaking on the different things that you've gone through in life you can have a positive impact on many people's lives that will leave you know beautiful comments um that will bring you to your your knees to your tears you know and pull on heartstrings there are so many of y'all be like damn it i'm not trying to cry today you know i've been that so towards that where I got many emails, you know, uh, DMs, you know, uh, different comments where it, it really, really showed me this is what I live for. These are the different things that showed me I'm on the right path because I'm impacting people's lives in this way. But you're also going to get a lot of people that very, you, you, your, your brightness of light, it irritates people's darkness. You know, your, your angelic ways will, in, in, you know, really trigger people's demons. So you have to be able to understand that. And it's just like when you're speaking truth, it's always going to be some kind of line where it's going to make you want to doubt yourself. You know, especially if you're doing something like this and you're using a purpose to be able to create better for you. A lot of times, you know, it's hard to be able to do this. I've been doing this close to almost seven years. It's like for um, uh, April, April 21st will be, uh, well, actually, no, January will be seven years, you know, because it happened. Um, I think it was like January, January, February. I can't remember. I got to go back and look. <laughs> you know how long I've been doing this. But I think it's been since January of t 2017, I think. 
I've been going through it for almost seven years. April 21st will be seven years. But, um, you know, going through these many, uh, many different things, it is just like it, it will set fire to truth. You really just don't know how these different things can really bring you up in life, you know, because it, it'll be just like you're looking at the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to different things into your life. You know, what different things is really a pet peeve for you, which one is a thorn in your side, what really can trigger you. You know, things are your moment of weakness, but you also see the light in the in the bigger perspective, the bigger picture of why you had to go through these different things. The the turning point in your life where it changes the vantage point vantage point of where it, it took you towards a catalyst of creating so much bigger and better for you. You know, um the ups and downs, the highs and lows, the setbacks, the delays, you know, the mistakes, but also the wins, the highs, you know, uh the pinnacles you're reaching, the accolades you're you're really you know stepping point in and those are the beautiful things in life that you should never take for granted you know everything is a standpoint on where your truth is really lying within within yourself you know and these are the different things you should be very proud of you know it doesn't make you a victim of what you have gone through you know I always tell people you know um, I, I when I first started <coughs> and that's enemy doesn't want me to talk about that but I'm gonna do it anyway um when I first started, I used to always pinpoint, you know, and there'll be different times that I've, I've, I didn't realize I was projecting of being a, uh, in that victim mentality because I went through, but there was just like, no, you're not going to be a victim in your mentality because you didn't, I did not know that's what I was doing at the time until different things were shedding light. It's like you're in that victim mentality and it's like, but these things that happened to me, it's like, yeah, I did it really did you're not lying about those things but these are not going to make you a victim of your circumstances you're going to overcome these different things so that's the reason why you cannot allow yourself to be able to see yourself as a victim even though these things has happened to you you know um there's a lot of times we have to be able to be honest what parts did we play in our own suffering you know what parts of our life did we allow to rule our rule us was it within logic or was it do we move in emotions and we have to be able to tell the difference between that even when we had people in our lives where where these you know we, we we had people in our lives that we really loved the hardest and it would be the ones that when when things got the lowest that it will take a moment of hesitation for them the same people that we were there that we loved the hardest would be the ones that hate us the most you know and these are the different things that that you're showing through life you know you're allowing that fire to burn and really able to say this is me i accept me if you can't accept me oh well as long as i can be able to love me you know way i see what i say is matters you know how i see about myself do i know my worth do i know my worth to my core do i value it you know do i place up boundaries is it hard for me to say no when when i when i constantly say yes when i know i mean no these are the different things when i tell you i see where i need to just step into my power i need to live my light towards the the best of my ability um being able to really understand you know there will be people that i'm going to meet that come in my life just to rip everything apart you know i've had different people i met on here that had nefarious, nefarious intentions when they first met me and try to you know be all kind and stuff like that and you know they thought i had idiot pricks on my, my forehead but then it got to that point where i hated them to the core like i wanted to go meet up with him face to face for what they did to me but then it came to that point where I want to really step back is like you needed them because it's just like you had to be able to understand there's people out there is not going to mean you any good okay there are going to be different times of that but you had to be able to see those red flags so when this mess comes back up again and you actually heal from it and there are going to be different people when you know you, you you forgot all about that there'll be some some kind of move some kind of vibes will remind you of something that you are forgot about that you made peace with or whatever and that's showing you hey you remember that time when such and such did such and such and they made that little false move and it made you feel kind of funny you know hey this is what's just reminding you of and it'll make you think like dang you know i really appreciate what that person did to me because now when i see different people there's many people like that and then now when it comes up i already know exactly i can make it in before it can truly begin i had to get at that point where i would see red flags and just ignore them you know 
And I was like, oh, there's just a bad day, or oh, you know, somebody made them mad, or you know, they're not always like that. And when you have to constantly make excuses for people's toxicities, people habits, or where they project things on you that doesn't have anything to do with you, even though it's nothing personal, but you have to be able to let you know these, these are not the people you need to have into your life. Or a lot of times, there's a lot of uh, people that'll come into your life that will really mirror the things that you you really need to deeply get in touch with within yourself that needs to be able to be healed because they're projecting this towards you we are all mirrors towards each other you know a lot of times we feel like when we attract people this is what we truly are no there's a fact is that you attract people that really need the vibration of who you truly are you know, you could be that person that has that light, that gentleness, that love about you. But you also have that fierceness about, oh, I'm not going to be taken advantage of. I stand in my power. I hold my boundaries very firmly. You know, when no mean God daggone no, if I don't, I don't have to give ex explanation on why I don't want to do what you want me to do. You know, it, it could be those different things. But you'd be able to hold those kind of kindnesses about you where somebody needed that in their life. You know, there'll be a lot of times where... I see there's a lot of people on my dad, you know, they, they, they know uh, they're going through the same exact thing I'm going through, but there'll be main things is like, you know, sometimes we don't get the, get the drift of it until we see it from the outside of what it's like. You see what that person is going through and it's not to say nothing bad about that person or whatever. But if you, when a lot of times when we can see things that's going on in our life, we get it. But a lot of times we have to be able to really just like take it in when you're when you're seeing somebody else going through it like man I wouldn't want to go through that and I see how it's really taking them on and it's just like but man you are really going through that do you want to continue to go through that you see how it's putting this person through all these different trials and tribulations do you want to be able to have to deal with that or somebody could be saying that about you you know, like, that. they're a cool person, but God, dog, they got a lot of baggage. You know, I've had different people that walked out of my life because I had that baggage with me. You know, they finally got to be able to meet me behind that. You know, it was kind of embarrassing and stuff like that, but I had to learn from that. You can push a lot of people away when you really show who you really are. You know, because there's only so much we show here. You know, but when, when we get on that one-on-one, -on -one, that's a whole different story. You know, but it, it's at that point where... You know, never see yourself as a victim. You know, a lot of people will be like, oh, you're just doing this for attention. Or, or you you just needing somebody to just pay attention to you. Or you feeling like you need to get love from other people by being broken and all that stuff. And it's just like, no, man, do you know that's good and well not what you're going through? You know, because a lot of times we could be going through that. But there's when you when you stand in your power like that, that's going to what people go, oh, they think they better than us. No, actually no, but obviously if you feel that way, that's where you're thinking that person is better than you. Or, you know, why can I why can I show strength like that? You can if you give yourself the chance to. You know, because there's sometimes we feel that way. You know, it's like that person stands strong in it. Or it'll be different people I see on YouTube. I'm like, damn, you know, do you ever have a bad day? And yeah, those people do. They just choose not to tell it. You know, does this person ever get mad? You know, a lot of times people choose not to show that. But with my channel, you see the goods and lows, the highs and lows. You know, you see every part of me. I show. There will be a lot of times you'll see all of it in one video. You're <laughs> like, God, dog, Rosalind. I saw like about 25 different faucets about you in one video. Yeah, you'll see that. You know, I, I try to be very transparent as I possibly can. I tell people, Hey, guess what? I'm flawed. I'm. I'm yeah, I, I moved through emotions at times and didn't even realize I was doing it. That I was doing something logical. But no, I was moving through emotions. You know, and I had to be able to be real like that. And it's okay. And I feel like that's where a lot of people respect me for. Because the fact is, there's so many people that act like, you know, when you, you, you know, some people go out their way because they want to be able to see the, the, the imperfect part of you. Like, nobody's perfect. But when you try your hardest to pinpoint something that's very very flawed about that person something's more wrong with you that you have that person triggers you in some kind of way that you always got to go pinpoint what that person's issue is it really is either it's just like okay i'll mess with that person let me move on you know there's different people on different channels i just don't mess with because it's just like it's something about you that irritates the hell out of my soul <laughs> and i've been like that it'll be certain people you know it'll certain be it'll be certain things that you know i couldn't deal with or some people they had to grow on me 
Y'all remember I used to watch uh, Chills' video. Anybody who know who Chills is, when he talks all like this, I'm like, you know what? That is just like listening to nails on a chalkboard. I couldn't. But then it was at that that point I got so used to it. I had to get used to it because I really I said, dude got very good videos, but I can't stand the way his ass talk because he don't talk like that. But it was just like he likes saying monotone like that, like you're asking a question with a question, or it's just like you're waiting for somebody to correct you. I don't know. But it would be different things, and it got to that point, like, hey, that's him. You know, he do good videos, but I just had to get past that. My kids was like, when my daughter, my oldest daughter used to come up, like, uh-uh, ma, I can't listen to that. <laughs> I said, I was like that, too, when I first heard him. But he got really good videos. But it would be just certain people that, you know, really just stuck out to me, really just stuck out. And um, there will be certain things that I went through, you know, where people, you know, ask me like, hey, Roz, how were you able to get over this? Or, you know, or the main question, Roz, when you know is when it was time for you to give up, we, when you ask that question. Anytime when you know it's time, when you ask that question, when, when is it, what do I need to look for when it's time for me to stop smoking? When you get ready to ask that question. I tell people when you have to start consuming more. Or you have to start getting through more. Because there will be certain people's videos I watch. And if you have me laughing just because I, I've like I've been in that type of high. Sometimes I can get envious of it and miss it. But then it's just like, no. I, I miss it, but then I don't. Because it's just like, it made me feel like it's no judgment towards anybody else. But it would just be like, I had that just showed me I had to have some kind of stimulant to get through something that I truly needed to get in touch with to heal. And I've seen certain people that I watch that does that. And I can say they're really hurting because I, I, I see the way they, they have to do that, you know, to, to be able to get through. And I get it. You know, sometimes it takes us a little bit longer than others do. But then you can recognize that was me at one time. As soon as I said that was like five, five, five. <laughs> but, you know, I, that was me at one time. And I just don't pass judgment on nobody because that was, you know, like I said, that was me at one time. You know, going through it just to have to get up and have to face reality, it was hard. Because as soon as I got up, that's what I did. Go talk to my, my eyes shot the sheriff and be just rolling. You know, and just really be just getting into it. And it'll be different time I watch my videos. People be like, girl, you are high as a kite. And I'm like, I'm not going to answer that, but yeah, I was, you know, and there'll be certain videos I can't watch anymore because that was just like, oh, that was so cringy. I'm like, man, I was high. I'm like, hey, and I'm like, no, I was high, you know, and it'll be one of those different things because I was really getting through a lot of stuff that was hard for me to grasp. That was what I was going through. That was what I was going through. Now it's just the fact is I can go through stuff and I'm just like, and I be telling myself, girl, you dealing with some stuff that make you just want to go pull up a new port, don't it? And I'm like, or anybody be like from the south, you want it, you need a poet, don't you? You need a poet. Yeah, I need a poet. But now it's just like, nah, when I gotta go clean out my nose, get some water and and, and peroxide or water and alcohol and go clean my nose because I don't want that smell in my nose and you know, on my clothes and go wash my hair and stuff like that. That means, you know what, you got to do all that just to get that stuff out just for one little cigarette. Now, was that cigarette worth it? No. No, I don't, you know. And it'll be just towards those different situations, and it showed me how much I, I grew from my situations. And, um, you know, like I said, I don't judge anybody else to smoke weed. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But it, you just know if, it, if you're smoking weed to get through a, a sadness or a, a trauma and it, that, that's where, where it just starts and, and that pain is consuming you to where that's all you do is you function in that way. It's telling you you really need to get in touch with you know your pain because you're, you're all, that pain is getting worse just because the fact is that you're using that is that that was your your uh, self-medicate you know on what you need to do because it is it's just telling you it's getting worse because you're you're trying to ignore it you can't ignore pain you can't ignore what needs to have that healing towards it it only gets worse because it's like the more you ignore it the more it is it's manifesting and that that's not a good manifest you know that that's something that can really consume you and I, I've seen a lot of that you know, within myself and around other different people. But, you know, you like I said before, you just don't know uh, 
what your situation can do, what kind of turning point it can take you to. It can take you to something very, very prominent, very, you know, powerful. You know, just, just something that can really just take you there. Or it can take you down a slope. You know, I've seen different people that are mo motivational speakers and like, yeah, I was on smack. You know, I was on, you know, uh, heroin, whatever. You know, I was on some really bad stuff. You know, at one time, and I mean, they show pictures of who they were, and I was like, damn. You know, and then you see them now, it's like two different people. And it was just like, and when I tell you that pulled on my heartstrings, because you can know, you, you never know, you could be at that last, you know, because there'll be different times where I wish I can just, you know, just get a sack or whatever, or like that. But now it's just like, you already know, folks trying to put you out, you know. <laughs> Next thing you know, you smoking on something because now it's like it, 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 get, it gets to that point where it's starting to get synthetic. And you already know stuff is starting to, people starting to add more to it. And I'm like, nah, I like the natural, you know, the, the, the earth. Y'all trying to add more. To them. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Because stuff nowadays, you, you be meeting your maker before it's time to. And I just don't have time for all that because I already know if I go back to that, that's where it's going to go to because somebody be like, ooh. <laughs> We we do we really trying to get somewhere? This is the best way to go. Nah, I'm good. I just meditate, go watch something funny, go get something to get my mind off of it, and then come back to it. It's like I don't want to deal with it when I'm enraged because that that can make me do some very homicidal stuff. And I don't, I don't I'm, no, I'm good. I'll just wait. Let me let me blow myself down. Let me just go ahead and just you know uh, de-escalate instead of elevate myself so I could be able to come back and you know, get to it on the right vibration. Because there's a lot of time I'll sit back and I'll be thinking about different things that happened in my life and I will get very, when you talk about going to zero to 10 million real quick, real quick. And it would be just like, when if that's a trigger, it's showing you where the healing needs to take place at. That's all I can say, is that whatever still triggers you is showing you where your healing needs to take place at. It needs patience, it needs understanding, understanding why this happened. You know, even if you don't really have understanding, especially if it comes from somebody else, you know, um, you have to just understand that's how those people are. You know, if it's somebody that, that triggers you to get you on your, you know, on your, on your purpose, that's like, you know, there's more of a personal issue, even though it's, it's like, you have to be able to take your attention away from it. If you if you want to allow that to stop irritating you, you have to be able to take the attention away from it. If you don't want it to hurt you, you have to take your attention away from it. That's all it can do. You know, and when you're doing that and you're allowing yourself to go through something where, you know, you're trying to find your purpose in life, what are you going through? You know, because a lot of times we're trying to find, I, you know, I try to find my purpose. I didn't know what it was because, you know, the jobs that I had, I would like it at first. And then I already say, oh, this way stuff is going just the way, you know, because it was just like the last few jobs I had. I had to smoke weed to be there. And I already knew that's not, if I got to sit up here and do that, I see people that have to function, you know, go to work drunk just to go to work. Or, you know, get a line of a book of sugar just to go to work. If you have to do anything like that just to have to function and be around certain people, that is not the place for you. You need to be somewhere where it does not feel like it's being forced. You know, when you have a day off, it, it, it just doesn't feel like a job. This feels like a lifestyle. Like when I'm, when I'm taking my days off, there'll be certain things I'll say to myself. And they'll stick out to me. I'm like, whoa, let me go ahead and write that down. That's something I know I'm in my purpose. You know, if I already know that there's people that's just really putting down little hateful comments on something I'm really saying that is positive towards you. You stand it is empowerment. That lets you know you triggering the heck out of something. I mean I've had different people like, oh I'm unsubscribing you because you're just doing this and this and okay then why did you have to even say that? You could have just left but you needed a gravy train to do that. You wanted people to see if they're doing that. You know I've had people that they come from different channels and, and try to do the same thing. And I'm just like what is your point on doing that? You know, I don't I don't deal with you I just blocked you out but obviously me blocking you triggers you because you had to come back you had to say something about my hair you had to say something about my makeup the quality of how my videos are and it was just like you got more 
subscribers you know you built your 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 platform off of lies and off of things that you had to take from other people's channels or other people's social media sites just to be able to say something and not giving them the credit they deserve or you take things and, and you you make it that you see oh that's powerful so how can I use it and being able to say this is my my material and use it over there I've had different people that did that and that let me know you're not based off of being original and if you're using somebody's stuff you need to go ahead and give them credit they deserve because if you didn't you didn't get that off on your own you using somebody else as soon as I said that you see the light so flicker you know you're using something that somebody else had that's why anytime I hear something you know, I say, oh, this inspired me, or, you know, I use Doja Cat's uh, verse, where it was talking about, you know, talking about people trying to cast scales, uh, try, try to uh, cast spells, and you're, um, and I realize you're a flex of a potion or something like that, and I said, oh, let me twist the words around, but I got that from her, from that song, Rules, and I was like, I don't even listen to Doja Cat, because I thought she was a singer, but I didn't know she would rap, I don't know what she do, but I guess, it, I don't know if that was just a song she was rapping off of, or that's what she do, and I was like, dang, that's, that, that's lit, you know, that's tight, and let me go ahead and take that, but I'm going to go ahead and give girl credits, you know, because I didn't, I didn't get that off on my own, you know, and I, I had to be able to do that because I've seen how different people stole my material and try to make it theirs. I've seen how different people have made their different social media platforms and come off my videos and make something off theirs and get flipped out when I don't do videos for a while. So you don't have nobody. You can't you can't sit up here and mimic my stuff. You know, I used to get mad about that. And I said, my superpower is nobody is not you. No matter if they try to steal your material or whatever, they can't not be you. And those are the different things that I've learned throughout, you know, being on my being on my purpose. There's a lot of different things that, you know, it's hard to digest at times. You know, sometimes I choke on it, I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes, yeah, it does get to me. But then it was just like, you know, you're gonna be in in, in a situation where a lot of people ain't gonna believe you. Or, you know, a lot of times, you know, you have to be able to say truth is stronger than tr fiction at times. It's stranger than fiction at times. You know, they want to be able to say, no, that's not her because she don't do this and do that. Or no, that can't, she can't be related to such and such and such because this and this and that. You know, I've, I've been through those different things. And it's like I shut it down every day on time because I had receipts to be able to show everything that I went through, everything that I said. I have some line of receipt on that that they had, you know, to the point where people stopped doing that because it started making them look like liars, it started making them look like something, you know, and it what is what it is, you know, but it, it's just like, I'm glad I was guided towards this, I don't say I'm glad I went through, I went through, because like I said, I don't wish this on nobody, you'll be, you know, I, I, I felt like I've lost so much that, you know, it, you know, family that, that could have loved me. That I know that loved me, not could have, but does love me, that I didn't have a chance to meet that was in my life. You know, different people that I had to, you know, be introduced to after they passed away. You know, and it was just like, it's crazy. Like when I see my grandmother and my aunt all the time, they're twin sisters. And it's just like, dad, I see my oldest daughter and my middle daughter because it's crazy because their birthday's 11-11 uh, and um, their birthday just passed. Uh, a few weeks ago and then it's just like my oldest daughter her her birthday is uh, January 11th and the other one is January um, 9th and it was it, it's just crazy they both look just like them so you know one looks exactly like them and one is like a darker version of, of, of my aunt and it's just really crazy when I see that and I'm just like wow how ironic that's 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 something you know that's really something and you know when I look at my life and really step back and it's to me is very unique to me you know you would think that you know a lot of people that know my situation like rousing this could be a lifetime movie my damn it show could <laughs> you know maybe one day you never know but it would be just different things that went on into my life and it's just like I'm glad I can be able to share this with the world you know um, because there's a lot of things that we go through in life that we don't speak on you know there's a lot of times it's hard for us to be able to voice out you know, and project this towards people because it's like, Dad, will they see me the same? Will they think I'm, will they believe me? You know, will they think I'm lying? Or then as soon as I said that, man, the rain started coming down harder. But, you know, all those different things, it's, it's just like, as long as you believe in yourself, 
That's why I tell people the answer to that is as long as you believe in yourself, there are going to be some people that are going to really admire you for what you do. And I'm not saying you can do a YouTube channel. You know, it's up to you what you want to do when you use when you're trying to find your purpose. You know what you're going through in life that is very challenging to you. And you know you're trying to find a way out of it. You know, by getting through it. There's no way you can avoid it. You have to go through it. And when you're doing that, that's how you find your purpose in life. You, you may be a motivational speaker. You may, you know, have a channel like me. Um, or you may do different videos on Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, or whatever. And be able to do that, you know. Or if it's just you, you know, being a comedian. You know, a lot of us is hey, because we are comedians. We're tricksters. We do a lot of things. We, we make a lot of points through uh, humor. <laughs> Sometimes it can be very dark humor. Like people, well, I'm like, that's not funny. I'm like, shoot, it was to me. You know, there'll be different times. Like I'll post something. I'm like, damn, that was funny. But I know people probably got like, I was like, did you just post that? I'm like, yeah, I did. I, I got my dark humor. You know, there's some people just laugh and be like, Roz, where you be getting this stuff from? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. But <laughs> I get a little bit from everywhere. But it'll be just different things. But it's just the fact is you're, you're never, even when you can feel like that, you know, you have to get out of your vibration of saying, I'm a victim to my circumstance. And it's just like, no. Even if you, you really are like all these things that happen to you, um, you're going to be a victor to overcome those circumstances. You never want to see yourself as a victim because it's like to me when I my IMO for that is like you're when you see yourself as a victim it's like you can never come from anything can't come good from this situation nothing can good come from you that you can elevate from that and I think that's what you know that's my meaning to when you put yourself in that victim mentality because you're saying these things happen yes these things happen but there can never be anything good can come from what they've done to me and that's exactly where a lot of your enemies and your and the people that done to these hoping that's what will happen to you but it's up to you just saying you know what i'm going to empower myself i'm going to empower other people to empower themselves you never know you're inspire inspiration to inspire many i always say you never know what your story of experience can really touch somebody's heart to really be able to show them there's somebody out there that really gets me there really there's somebody out there in life that really understands the pain that I feel that I'm struggling to be able to get through on a day-to-day -day basis is hard because there's a lot of things that you know with my situation I feel like it's a lot harder especially if you have a public figure that's in your life that, that that's part of your family and it's like everywhere you know and then on top of that, where other people are feeling that pain of what that person meant to them, you know, that that's on pain on top of pain that I feel, you know, not just mine, but other people. And, and that's very hard to be able to deal with. But, you know, I use that to be able to say when I can step back and say, you can see how much that person is very influenced by that person or you can see how much that person's you know mark on life you know it may, reminds me of the song by um beyonce saying i was here you know when you can say how that person has helped you through good times then elevate you you know you can show how this person you know went through the you know was homeless and you know went through many counts of abuse and you know had to stay in multiple different homes and then you can make somebody who just impacts a life that's so powerful like that even though he didn't he or she didn't see themselves like that but you don't like man you didn't see yourself like that but I saw you that way you never know what that person can and can ignite in the family uh, of, of what you love about that person you become everybody's family and that way you become their father figure you become a mother figure you become a sister or uncle or you know some kind of ancestor or guide to that person you just really don't know and that's how with my situation I had to be able to see it that way if not you know it, it could have really succumbed me you know it could have really just really left me down that way and it was just like the person that you lost you got so much to gain from that that loss from that because you can see how the person that you truly loved you know is loved by so many other people and you know and it, it, that's just a blessing with my situation of uh, being able 
to move on through life on a day-to-day -day basis just to be able to see how somebody that I love so dearly is loved so many by other people just the same so but I hope you're able to resonate with that you know I was like dang I didn't know how I was gonna make this video I'm like Ugh. you know but it was guiding me towards saying it, saying it anyway but it is what it is but i hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video y'all like i said i'll leave all my contact information in the description box below it's all about spiritual networking being able to connect with you and finding out a deeper purpose on why certain things have fell in the way it did how your life is unfolding how it could unfold you know what what your purpose is you know i love to be a part of that with other people you know um we can talk on a one-on-one -on -one basis you know whatever we speak on is confidential i help out the best way i can you know universe guides me to be able to be you know that interpreter be able to let you know some different things and i love to be able to be a part of that it's truly a blessing to me so you know please you know drop a line and you'll you know i hope you have a blessed safe week in everything that you do you know also if you feel generous enough to drop a donation hell the cash app is always there <laughs> so uh much love to you peace